starting your day with us. So the Pacific Northwest, one of the best places to shuck oysters and steam clams. And with more warm weather headed our way just in time for Labor Day, you might still have your grill out as well. Yeah, so uh, Ellen Taylor live at Elliott's Oyster House with more on how to master your seafood grilling. Hi there, Ellen. Ooh, hey, good morning, Bill. Hi, Liz. Yeah, we've already figured out how to shuck the oysters and now how to grill salmon to perfection. And again, you never want to take cooking tips from me, which is why we enlist the help of professionals like executive chef Robert Spaulding. And now this looks amazing. I know how to eat this, but I don't really know how to grill it. What are your tips? What are your tricks? Teach me the ways. Ellen, the first thing you want to do when you're going to grill some fish is get good fish. So what we're looking for is a nice shiny filet. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Nice shiny scales. No off odors. Um, nice meat that's together and not ripped up or torn up anyway. Okay. And then you're going to know that uh, when you're cooking it, it's not going to pull apart on the grill if you're doing your due diligence. Sure. And so. Can I put this off to the side? Because now we're ready to. Yeah. Ooh. Get it out of there. Get it out. Done. Okay. So now we got it on the grill. Well, on the plate, ready to go on the grill. So What's the give first it a thing little oil there. Just some plain oil. Yep. Plain oil. What kind Use of oil? Your favorite. Um, I like grapeseed oil, avocado oil, okay. extra virgin olive oil. Your uh, favorite secret seasoning. Are you gonna tell us what's in the secret seasoning? There's salt and pepper in it. Salt and pepper. Okay, and I'm sure that there's other things, <laughs> which again, I guess, is a secret, so we won't go that far. All right, fine. Wait, what are you doing? Just gonna put a little oil on the grill itself. Oh. <laughs> Get it started there. And then you, I like to put uh, the fish down first on a hot part of the grill. Okay. You can hear that's pretty hot. There is just a slight sizzle. Now, isn't there some, like, and, and I mean, I know that our, uh, some of our reporters, Simone Del Rosario, for example, she does a lot of stuff with the orcas and things like that. Now, I, I know that the orcas and the salmon, we don't want to eat the salmon because we don't want to hurt our local orcas. Is this the salmon that I have to be worried about? Uh, no, this is sockeye salmon, and we do source all of our salmon from Alaska. Okay, so it's not affecting our local orcas, and I know that Elliot's is really big on sustainability, and you guys have a big like charity event happening in November. It's what, Oyster New Year? Yes, yeah, so Oyster New Year benefits the Puget Sound Restoration Fund. It's on November 2nd. It goes from 8 to 4. Yeah. Um, 70 wineries, more than 100 wines. Um, I also read something on the internet about a 150-foot-long oyster table. Yes, 150 foot long oyster bar with about 30 different oysters, you know, anywhere from 25 to 30,000 oysters. Not, not, you know, that's a few oysters that you could eat and enjoy. I'll put links to that up on our on our page at q13fox.com slash Ellen. Okay, now 30 seconds left until this. Do we just flip it once or? Yeah, let's see if we uh, did a good job here. If we, if you did a good job. Uh -huh. I mean, if it's bad, you did it. If it's good, I did it. Oh, no. That's very smart. That is very smart, right? Wait, why are you doing it like that? Just to get the grill marks? Yeah, just to get a nice diamond grill mark on it. And okay. this one will flip over and see how that's looking. Let's see. Ooh. Nice is that good? Mark. Is that what yes. we're looking for? Perfect, yep. Nice. Okay, coming up next hour, mussels and clams. Yeah, there we go. So we'll have all of your seafood needs that you need to know from the professionals coming up. But for right now, we're going to send it back on over to Bill and Liz right. while we eat the same.